Kathy Cran thought her fenced-in Deerfield backyard was the perfect and safest place for her dogs to run around. Clover, a four-year-old pit bull, Louie, a one-year-old French bulldog, and Maggie, another pit. So they are the sweetest things. They are like three little peas in a pod. They literally climb on each other and sleep together. On Wednesday afternoon, all three dogs went outside on their own using the doggy door while Cran left to pick up her son at school. When she returned, her backyard looked like a war zone. Blood was everywhere. Five-year-old Maggie had been attacked. Cran found her dead in the snow. Louie and Clover had also been mauled. Clover has little puncture wounds on her head, her like nose, her cheek is a little ripped, the inside of her cheek is bitten through. Because her yard is fenced, Cran thought her dogs attacked each other, but her vet told her the bite wounds were similar to a coyote attack. What they were thinking based on how Louise looked is that it tried to grab him like by the ear and pull him and that one or both of the girls got in. Cran says coyotes have been spotted in her neighborhood on a regular basis lately. Experts say this time of year is breeding season for coyotes. All dogs are at risk uh, for a coyote attack, particularly this time of year because they get very, very defensive of their territory. Wildlife biologist Chris Anker says while coyotes can attack and consume small dogs, this time of year, big dogs are at risk for an attack. And Anker says coyotes are capable of going under and over fences. While there have been plenty of dog attacks, experts say there has never been a case of a human attack by a coyote in the state of Illinois. They say the key to that is don't feed the animals. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.